this is Jack from Historical Weapons and today we're going to check out a Tatar bow made in Korea. This one is the Daylight Archery Kazan. It's quite interesting to see Tatar bows made in Korea. Usually you think of them made in other countries but it's nice that Korea is also making other bows. Um, I reviewed something in the past, a Turkish style bow made in Korea as well. But this time we have a Tatar one. So let's check it out. There you go. Now I have put the string on already. Um, this is not an unboxing, but I have strung it and made sure everything is good. Well, here's the bow unstrung. As, and as you can see, the very typical uh, profile. Now this one doesn't actually have a very reflex handle but here you get a little bit of that deflex with a slight reflex backwards, which is quite interesting. A lot of the Tatar bows I've seen have a more aggressive reflex at the handle with more deflex near the mid limb portion, but it's interesting to see that on this design. It is bamboo core um, and then fiberglass with the back and the belly. And then at the Sia portion, you see a transition with wood that is sandwiched between the bamboo. And then here at the tips, it's reinforced with some kind of synthetic material. I like the black uh, belly because it's very similar to horn in terms of its color. And compared to the Korean bows that you see today, this one is more symmetric. And here is the string, as you can see, it's a very typical Korean style string with synthetic materials. Um, so that's quite unique for its design. And my favorite feature is the ray skin. Giving that ray skin um, really differentiates it from a more premium bow than the cheaper laminates where it's just pleather or leather on the handle for the arrow pass. Um, I like that and you can see the classic Korean kind of handle that they make from Daylight Archery um, that's wrapped together. And of course, here's the manual, and we got a Korean bow sock, which also functions as a belt and a cloth for cleaning things if you want. Okay, we have the bow strong. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty accurate for the um, for the bow design. I'm getting pretty good shots now. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I like the lower limb. For my personal accuracy, this is not bad actually. I like the lower handle you can see. Of course, Tatar bows are one of my favorite bows for speed shooting. Um, I just love how flexible they are in terms of its design and how accurate it is for speed shooting. It's a lot of fun. I just like this bow for speed shooting. The handle, it just fits better for optimizing speed um, instead of the Korean traditional handle. And of course, ambidextrous, you need that as well. And it's quite lightweight, 45 pounds to 28, so pretty good for a speed shooter. When you hold arrows like a magazine, it just changes how you think about archery. No longer are you worried about your first shot. See, if I miss, I can just follow up with a second shot. I hit the guy's leg, I can hit a little bit higher. So I'm not too worried about every shot making count. I just want to kind of spray. And for me, this is just having fun. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. So after my first 100 shots, what do I think about it? This is the result of the arrow pass after 100 shots. And 
it's still doing great. Ray skin is good. So yeah, that's good. Now, bow is still great. You can see no delaminations. I trust these manufacturers quite well uh, for its reliability. And it just wants me to shoot more arrows. It, this bow is just designed to like spray arrows. I don't know, like it feels so fast and just wanting to spray more. I, I like that it's kind of a speed shooter's dream bow, I think. Uh, it, it, it's lightweight. It's got that great uh, handle that you're familiar with and the ambidextrous design allowing you to do all kinds of speed shooting. The tips are quite uh, slick and lightweight, so good for speed shooting as well. And there is a little bit of historical flavor into this because Slavic draw is mentioned by Herbartry that is used on Tatar style bows. Uh, even though they're probably mentioning it as a one shot kind of arrow, um, it's still nice to have some kind of historical flavor to mix Slavic draw with a Tatar bow. Thank you so much, Daylight Archery.